Shout out to Mr. Brown, Mary. Mr. Junior. Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. This is Steven Espinosa from Showtime Sports. Shout out to Money Brown TV. Shout out to Money Brown TV from the punchline. Hey, yeah, Money Brown, we're on the way up, baby. Yeah, Tuzzle we're coming up, baby. Get us now. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Shakur Stevenson, the undefeated two division world champion, looking to be a three division world champion in his upcoming fight. Then we have Devin the Dream Haney, the undefeated former undisputed lightweight world champion. Devin looking to be a two division world champion in his up and coming fight against Regis Progre. Mm -hmm. Then we have that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the undefeated three division world champion. We all know Tank is arguably the hottest thing smoking in boxing, arguably the face of boxing. And he got everybody lined up to fight him because Tank bring that money to the table and Tank got that impact on his name. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, listen, Javante Tank Davis is coming back next year, and he's coming back with a blast. I'm going to repeat it. Javante Tank Davis is coming back next year, and he's coming back with a blast. He want all y'all favorite fighters. He want to prove to y'all that he is the king of boxing. But like he said, for me to become the king of boxing, I got to whoop a couple more people's asses. And guess what? Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson is in his plans. You feel me? Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson is in his plans, and Tank ain't holding back on nobody. He's not holding back on nobody. You understand? So to everybody out there that's talking about Javante Tank Davis need to do this, Javante Tank Davis need to do that, well, guess what? He going to do it. He going to prove all you mother suckers wrong. Just tell y'all favorite fighters like Devin the Dream Haney right here to sign that contract when things get real. You feel me? When things get real. Now, Devin Haney's at 140 pounds right now. He's about to take on Regis Progre. We know him and his daddy been talking shit about Tank for how long now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world? Come on now, spit it out. How long have they been talking shit about Tank to what they want to fight Tank, they want to do this, they want to do that? Now, when the opportunity presents itself and it's real, and the contract is really on the table, not like none of these weird-ass content creators talking about, when the contract is really on the table, Devin better sign. I don't want to hear no excuses. None. None. But Javante Tank Davis wants you, boy. He wants you, Devin. And he's coming for you. And he's coming soon. So handle your business with Regis. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck that fight up. And uh, continue to do what you do. But Javante Tank Davis is coming. You feel me? To Shakur Stevenson. We all know you're a bad boy. One bad boy. We all know you're up on the top rank. You know what I'm saying? You with Bob Earn right now. You feel me? We know Shakur been saying he won't Tank. You know what I mean? Came out, said he want Javante Tank Davis. Um, him and Tank will be the biggest thing smoking when that fight do happen. He got nothing but respect for Tank. You know, they talk their shit going back and forth. But when that time come, Shakur, you better sign that contract. You understand? Sign that contract, which I believe Shakur will. You understand, Shakur? Um, he's not like Tank, I mean, sir, he's not like Devin and his father, the way they disrespect Tank. See, Shakur go off energy. You know what I mean, he go off how you um, how you talk to him, you know. But he shoot his little shit, he talk his little shit as well. Um, you know, he got a big fight coming up for the fight for the vacant WBC lightweight title that Devin Haney vacated because now he's at 140 pounds against um, De La Santos, right? And he's on point, he's ready to go. You feel me? He's on point, he's ready to go. And he don't overlook nobody. I respect that about Shakur. You know, he understand that he got a dangerous man in front of him. But Tank is coming for Shakur as well. You understand? He's coming for Shakur as well. Like Shakur said, um, Tank is the big dog. What he say goes. Um, he got to be the one initiate the, the fight. But he's ready whenever Tank ready. He's ready. You know what I mean? And I believe the kid. I really do. Because we all know Shakur wanted to fight Devin Haney at 135, but we seen what Devin and his daddy did. 
You know what I mean? They ate fake like they wanted to fight the man, but they really didn't want to fight the man. I repeat, they ate faked it like they wanted to fight Shakur Stevenson, talking about they sent him 25%, when Shakur turned it down because nobody accepted the first fucking deal, right? And went through the sanctioning body to get a little more money, you know, they ran to 140, where they was going all along. But they was a faking like they wanted to fight at 135 to save face after Bill said they go stay at 35 until the end of the year for tanking Shakur Stevenson. And he knew that wasn't true. He knew it wasn't true. But Tank is coming for Shakur. Tank is coming for Devin Haney. Tank is coming for Tiffimo Lopez. Who knows? Ryan Garcia just might get a rematch at 140. We just don't know, bro. You know, we just don't know. I know plenty of people be like, well, well, Ryan is getting a rematch. He don't deserve it. We don't know what Ryan going to do at 140. Ryan might be the big dog up there. He might be Debbie, might be T.O., you know what I'm saying? Become the undisputed champion, unified. You just never know how things are going to play out in the boxing world. But Javante Tank Davis coming for all y'all favorite fighters. He's not bullshit. He's not playing around. He's not beating around the bush. He let it be known, right? It ain't about the money no more. It's about his legacy. It's about his legacy. You know, there's a lot of people out here that's discrediting Tank and what he did in the sport of boxing. A lot of people taking his wins away from him, acting like he ain't done nothing to get to where he at. You feel me? Acting like Tank haven't done anything to get to where he at. But yet, that praise the fighter that did less than Tank. You understand? The thing about Tank is he got that it factor, man. He got the fan base. He put the asses in the seats. He sell the pay-per-views where people press their red button and really press their red button. They don't just fire stick and, and, you know what I'm saying, go to bars and things like that. People press the red button for Javante Tank Davis. You know? And that's what a lot of these fighters want. They want that type of recognition. They want that type of spotlight. They want that type of money. You understand? And they want that position that Tank got. But you're not going to get it easy. You're not going to get it easy. You have to earn it. You have to earn it, Devin Haney. Yeah, you have to earn it. Because you and your day talk a lot of trash, man. A lot. To discredit fighters. And then when people start getting on y'all behinds, then y'all want to act like people just picking on y'all. Like these word um, content creators be doing, man. Content creators be too worried, fam. They really do. At the end of the day, these fighters got to fight one another and they got to prove that they the best. You know what I mean? They got to prove that they the best. When it comes to negotiation, things like that, um, you wait till they sit at the table with the contracts. And if one is offered something that he should be accepting, right, then we should get on his ass if he turn it down. But if one is getting offered something that's that's not fair, then we should be getting on the person who's trying to be unfair and unjust. If you're really about that life, if you're really about that life, but we know nowadays it's just the ass kissing contest. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So now, when I'm looking at Tank coming down to Tank, speaking his mind, um, let it be known Tank run his own career now. Right? We knew Leonard Floyd was pulling strings when he was, you know, Mayweather promotions 120%. But now he's GTD promotions, man. He's rocking out with Al Heyman. You know what I mean? Of course, it's okay to listen to Floyd, listen to LB on a few things because they know the business. But Tank is still learning as he go. But Tank has the last say so in everything, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. Pay attention to how Tank talk. Now that I'm running the show, right, is what I want. And his last two fights, he did a hell of a job. And Hector Garcia and Ryan Garcia did a hell of a job back to back. And a lot of people is jealous and mad at that. Because Tank can call shots like that and make way more money than your favorite fighter. You know what I'm saying? That's because he's that guy. Ain't got to respect it, bro. And to somebody knock him off his throne, knock him off the top of the mountain, then get your Bonte Tank Davis credit and it's just due. Period. But now that he's coming for y'all favorite fighter, I don't want to hear no more of that bull crap. No more of that bull crap. Quit saying what he ain't doing and wait to see who he fight next and let's see who he pick. People keep going out their way to talk about Tank ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. The man ain't picked nobody um, to fight yet. Ain't nobody signed a contract yet to see him. So, wait until he pick his next opponent, let's see who it is, and then speak on it. Because it just might be your favorite fighter. You know what I'm saying? Just might be your favorite fighter. But just know one thing. Javante Tank Davis coming for them all, bro. He's coming for them all. You dig? 
Like I said, when things get real and things get serious, just make sure your favorite fighter don't beat around the bush, sign their contract to make the fight happen, right? Train their ass off and get ready for ass whooping. Because Javante Tank Davis ain't playing with nobody, ladies and gentlemen. He's not. He's coming for all the recognition that they say he don't deserve. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait, man. Shouts out to Shakur. You know, good luck on your next fight. Shouts out to Devin Haney. Good luck in your next fight. And most definitely, shouts out to Tank. Come on back, King, and show these boys why you that killer, that gorilla, and why you got the respect that you got, and why you is that dude. Go beat their ass, get that recognition, and move on to the next. Straight like that.